A few weeks ago, TikTok videos of Northwest having fun with Ice Spice went viral. The content we have come to expect from the famous family was created by the viral sensation and Kim Kardashian's first child. Welcome viewers to my channel. Please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Kardashian and her daughter opened a joint TikTok account in 2021, despite Yee, North's father, being against his four children using social media. They have been sharing videos of them together that use viral sounds. The videos show North's moments with her younger siblings, but the most important thing is that the videos show the child's endless creativity. They are right now sitting at in excess of 15 million supporters on the application, which fails to measure up to Kim's 349 million on Instagram, and the ice flavor recordings alone have piled up in excess of 100 million perspectives. Kardashian has incapacitated the remarks on the page to safeguard North. Psychiatrist and author MJ Corey runs the Kardashian Colloquium Instagram and TikTok accounts, where she provides informed and academic perspectives on the family and their use of social media and media to increase their influence. Along with data scientists, Corey also established the Kardashian Data Coalition to support her theories by tracking online information and gaining insights into the family. While Complex initially contacted Corey to inquire about the significance of Ice Spice's appearance on North's page, the expert dug deeper into a widely circulated theory that the Kardashians may be having difficulty keeping up for the first time in a long time. Gen Z appears to have surpassed the famous sisters by shifting their focus toward TikTok, a platform they have yet to claim as their own, while fans have been chasing the trends they set on Instagram and elsewhere. With the exception of Kylie Jenner, who has more than 52 million app followers. According to Corey, who spoke with Complex, something of Kim's major relevance and eventual dominance can be attributed to the fact that she was an early adopter of Twitter and Instagram, and she really knew how to use those forms as they were really dominating culture. Kim Kardashian's dominance is very similar to her use of social media and her dominance of those platforms. With 400 million Instagram followers, Selena Gomez recently overtook Jenner as the most followed woman, 50 million more than Kardashian, if we're keeping track. Prior to Kim and North's TikTok account, the reality star family was limited to Kourtney Kardashian and her children's videos. Corey accepts that North's recordings are a method for assisting the family with slicing through the commotion and state their presence on the stage, no holds barred. While the Kardashians' approach to Instagram usage became the norm for the majority of users, they have not had the same impact on TikTok. Corey adds, people are saying they're having trouble because their brand isn't defining the app's aesthetic like it did at its peak on Instagram. By aligning themselves with individuals who are already popular on social media, such as Ice Spice, they have attempted to remain relevant. Corey believes that it was all premeditated and based on data pulled from analytics that shows them who is relevant and could benefit from, even if the person in question does not see the same benefits in return, while others believe it was just a way for Kim to demonstrate how connected she is or a way to hint at a possible Skims campaign collaboration. Like the video they shared with Mariah Carey, whose song was currently trending on TikTok. TikTok is more popular with younger users than the famous family might be able to reach, but that's where the kids come in. As a result of Kardashian's divorce from Yee, they no longer have a direct connection to black culture, and North may serve as a means of communication with younger black audiences. According to Corey, North seems to be fulfilling in their narration of their family the role that Kanye once played in black culture as well as the brilliant, creative, unpredictable artist in our sphere. When Complex spoke with the creator of Kardashian Colloquium, she elaborated on her belief that the Kardashians are failing to remain relevant and how their children are enabling them to connect with TikTok users in ways that they cannot do on their own. Question mark. Even when I first learned about the Kardashians, I was behind the times. They were evidently prominent in the media, but they were not central to my interests. At the time, I was a big Kanye fan, but I never really cared about the family. Nothing really grabbed me enough to get me interested in the show or anything like that. However, our roommate screened Keeping Up with the Kardashians in 2018. The Bora Bora episode, in which Kim and her brother Rob argue about how Kim was acting like a diva at the resort, had an impact on me that was much greater than I had anticipated. The actual battle felt truly crude and genuine. I should also mention that I am a psychotherapist by day and was in training at the time. As a result, I was very aware of people's emotional states and what seemed to be real about their emotional processes. However, there was something strange about this very real fight and this very staged, larger show construct in the context of the show's super staged reality TV structure. I couldn't put my finger on it beyond that, but I thought it was like the uncanny valley.